right on time. Darling. Darling. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. It's time to get up. <laughs> I brought you breakfast. <laughs> I let you snooze until the last possible moment, but I didn't want it to get cold. I made your favorite. Oh, no, it's no trouble at all. I was up anyway. I guess I'm the early bird. Yum, yummy worms. <laughs> hmm. I'm starting to think it's a curse, you know? I can't seem to sleep more than four hours at a time. I've been up every morning this week at the crack of dawn. Don't worry, though. I've been keeping busy. A little too busy, maybe. I thought I'd have so much to do around the house after the split that I'd never get it all done. But just a couple weeks without any other responsibilities and the place is already spick and span. I mowed the lawn, organized the closets. I even tidied up the attic. The chest freezer is all full too. Plenty of dinners and lunches all ready to go. I've got a roast in the slow cooker now, as a matter of fact. Hmm. It is a little odd, of course. I remember a time when my brain was all facts and figures and curiosity. Buzz, 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 a million thoughts, busy like a bee. Now my most pressing concern is getting ring around the collar out. Oh, don't get me wrong, spot treating laundry is meditative and kind of nice. But it's not the same. Oh, no, no, I, I don't mind exactly. I remember before the split, I always wished I had more time to do things around the house. And I'm glad to finally have it. It's just, I ran out of those things awfully quick. And not having anything else to do is, I don't know, empty? It's not bad or, or good, it's just sort of there. I used to have too many things to do and and now there are too few. I keep almost thinking of all the things I used to be passionate about, but the thought fizzles and disappears. And I'm too timid to go after it. It's weirdly frustrating. And... Oh... I know I've also become a bit dull to be around. I, I realize you still love me, but I'm hardly the most stimulating conversationalist. Especially since I barely have the nerve to speak up at the dinner table. I don't mean to lapse into silence. It's, it's just what keeps happening. And without the others, I'm, I'm much too shy to... Oh, well... You know. Maybe I'm not a cold fish, but I'm definitely the chilliest in this house. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The smutty one is definitely the spicy tuna. <laughs> oh, you're sweet to say I'm indispensable, darling. But I can't help but think that all I've done is housework since the split. And you could get that from a maid. Or... Or a robot. Maybe even a robot maid? With, uh, gears? And, and a spatula? Oh, there you see. I almost had a science thought and now it's gone. Like someone plucked it right out of my head. <sighs> hmm? What was I talking about? Oh, <laughs> never mind me. I guess this is that house spouse ennui people sometimes get. I just reorganized our library. Maybe I'll read a book or twelve. Oh no, your coffee! Oh, and the fine china too! Oh darling, I'm so sorry. I don't know how I could be so clumsy. That has been happening more and more often lately. Hmm. I thought for sure I had a good handle on it. 
It's like my fingers just gave up. Oh, I'll go get something to clean this up. You don't worry about a thing. I mean, if that's okay with you. It's your day off, and I know you plan to spend some quality time with all of us. Okay, you finish your breakfast. I hope you like it. Hello, lover. <laughs> so sorry to ambush you at your most vulnerable. Mind if I join you? I'm feeling awfully dirty. I think I could stand to get wet. <laughs> you could scrub my back and... Anywhere else you think needs your tender, loving care and attention? Oh, I know. You said we should limit our trysts to just once or twice a day. We all need affection. You have things to do. You're only human. All that jazz. But it's been hours. If you don't have your wicked way with me soon, I might go mad. I've tried to control myself, lover. I really have. I've read a mountain of romance novels to scratch that itch. Taken so many cold showers. Hell, I've even thought about baseball. Counterproductive, by the way. All that thick, hard wood and those perfect, big, round... <laughs> well, you get the idea. Needy? I'm not needy. I mean, I have needs, but... Oh, all right, you're right. I am. I need you. All the time. Nothing can satisfy like you can, lover. Nothing can even compare. I can't think about anything else. And I really have made an effort. Cross my heart and hope to die. Is it because of the others? Hmm. So who is it, hmm? That brainless, giggling hussy? Or is it the cream puff? That sniveling little pipsqueak? No, it couldn't be her. She's too much of a mouse. And little Miss Logic cares more about her petri dishes than, uh, intimate matters. Don't. Tell me it's stabby. Huh. Need I remind you, the last time you tried anything of a delicate nature with her, she nearly broke three ribs. Yours. Oh, I'm not jealous. Why would I be? I'm raw sexual energy personified. I'm just... I'm just frustrated. Oh. You would be, too, if you were me. Get a hobby. Uh, this is my hobby. You don't see me baking cookies or poking test subjects, do you? This is what I am. It's all I am. <sighs> you sure I can't tempt you, lover? Ugh. Of course, I still love you. I wouldn't want to, uh... 
Ahem. If I didn't. Don't worry. I'll nurse the rejection and get over it. But pencil me in sometime soon, hmm? Before I start really coming unglued. God damn it! If you keep hitting the punching bag that hard, you're going to break it, you know? <laughs> if I can break it, it deserves to be broken! Oh, hi, honey! Don't mind me, just sharpening my knives! Ugh. Hey, babe! <clears throat> you want us out of the garage, you'll have to wait until I've worked off some of this <clears throat> aggression. <sighs> no, I'm fine. I've had a fantastic day, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yep, we made a presentation to one of the major math science grant boards this morning. And aside from a little misunderstanding with security trying to escort us off the premises and a couple of black eyes, it went great. We'll be swimming in money any day now. <laughs> Ooh, Shockstra basically had a stroke. Fuck! Yeah, I know. I know it's good news. I know I usually only do this to blow off steam, but... Oh, today I feel like I'm nothing but steam. That's what you get for being a hothead. <laughs> Shut up! And stop that fucking giggling. It's driving me nuts. Giggle, giggle, giggle all day long. At least I'm having fun, unlike some other people. Yeah, well, that's your only setting, isn't it? We saw a dead cat on the side of the road on the way home, and she couldn't stop giggling her stupid bubble head off about it. Well, I didn't exactly want to. <laughs> it just sort of happened. Usually that sort of thing makes me teary, but uh, <laughs> lately it just strikes me as funny. Squish, it's just such a great sound. And a great word, too. Squish, squish, squish. <laughs> uh. Damn it, I have been working out all afternoon and I still feel like a rat in a cage. It doesn't make sense. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I gotta get my head straight. Feels like I'm coming apart at the seams. It's like, no, oh, damn it, I used to know how to explain this, but I, I can't anymore. It's like when you overfill a balloon and, and something bad happens. Ugh. Quoting cartoon science fiction? How far are you fallen? <laughs> oh, stuff it, Giggles. I'm trying, okay? What, that? It's my workout record for the last couple of weeks. What about it? Well, sure, I've ratcheted up the intensity on everything a little, but you gotta if you want to see any gains. Too much? Huh, there's no such fucking thing. Besides, I'll go crazy if I can't work off some of this. Calm down. I am calm. This is me calm. No, I don't need a hug. I don't need anything. Get the fuck away from me and don't you dare try to tell me what to do or so help me out. Hey! Shit. Shit. Babe. Babe, I almost... I mean, I wanted to hit you. Oh, man, I gotta get out of here. I'm... I'm going for a jog maybe dunk myself headfirst in the nearest lake or something. I gotta cool off before I do something I'll regret. Oh, I guess I'll just go, uh, <laughs> make sure she doesn't kill anyone in a fit of rage. Or, if worse comes to worse, help dispose of the body. Oh, huh, you're right. I didn't defend you, did I? Oh, and with a knife in my hand and everything? That is a bit weird, isn't it? Normally, I'd just jump right in and dispose of any threat, wouldn't I? Hmm. Wonder what it means. Huh? Oh, right. I was gonna go after her. We'll be home in time for dinner, honey. <laughs> I think.
lover. I can't wait anymore. I just need to... Mm. Mm. Oh, don't just peel me off, you lover. Can't I just hold you a minute? Please. I promise to behave myself, not take any liberties. <laughs> You're right. I'd definitely try. Oh, but isn't this what everyone wants? An insatiable wife. One who can never get enough of you. One who's always in the mood, no matter what. Well, here I am. Every hormone-addled sex maniac's dream come true. A living, breathing fembot. Built for pleasure and nothing else. Oh, I know, I know. You need time to yourself. Intellectually, I know. Or, I should. I used to. But I can't stand it. I feel like I'm going insane. Don't you understand? This is all I have. Nothing else will sit in my head for more than a minute at a time. Every other thought slips right out of my brain. Oh, you're only human. You have limits. I know. It's not your fault my veins are pumped full of love potion number nine. Logically, I can't jump your bones every second of the day. I'd drain the life right out of you like some kind of... the succubus. But how am I supposed to live like this? An idea? Oh, lover. Do you have a solution to my little problem? Tell me what to do. I'll do it. Anything for you. Oh. A solution to all our problems. <laughs> well, I suppose I can go along with that. If I must. All right, I'm listening. God, somebody else comes in here. Um, excuse me. Could you let me out of this cage, please? And do something about these chains? My name is Stephanie. I, I don't know how I got here. All I know is when I woke up, this crazy scientist said she's gonna experiment on me. What did I say about talking? Lab rats don't get chat. Don't make me get the hose. What do they look like, sweetheart? Cages. It takes entirely too long to procure test subjects under ordinary circumstances. Much less when they're unwilling. I'm not about to let this one get away. I haven't had a proper human guinea pig since before the split. Uh, I suppose if it would make you feel better, we can go in the other room. I don't know why you're skittish around this sort of thing now. It's little worse than how we met, after all. Was there something you needed? My slate for the day has been filled with time-sensitive experiments. I can only spare... Mm, five minutes. A chocolate bar. And my favorite kind. That's thoughtful of you. I haven't eaten yet today, but I'm afraid I've recently lost my taste for sweets. And most other things. If I could convince the cream puff to whip up some bland nutrient bricks, 
I would. Here. Perhaps the hedonist would be better served by this little treat. Give it to the sex kitten. I'm sure she could use the serotonin boost. She's been prowling the house like a cat in heat for three days. Uh, don't concern yourself with what I intend to do with the captive. She's not long for this world. Does it upset you? Oh. I suppose she's an innocent, yes. I used to experiment only on killers, abusers, those who would agree to the conditions out of a desire to secure improvements in their confinements or to assuage their guilt, turning a negative into a net positive, serving the greater good with their contribution to science. But I admit it's much harder to find those sorts of people, to vet them properly, make sure they actually deserve to be experimented on. Now I don't have to worry about it. It's quite refreshing. Of course it doesn't bother me. Why would it? I'm finally free from all the restrictions of my former nature. Free to conduct my experiments with concern only for results. Guilt, ethics, consent, fear of reprisal. Those are the domain of less, uh, clinical beings. Now, you came to see me for a reason. The others. What about them? I suggest if you're having any unfortunate psychological conflicts, you sort them out among yourselves. I lack the necessary emotional intelligence and empathy to effectively mediate, uh, feelings. Dry logic is hardly a suitable replacement for couples therapy. Or group therapy, in this case, I suppose. Hmm. Exhibiting instability, are they? Unsurprising. I thought that might be an eventual problem. For them, of course, not for me. I can maintain stability perfectly well. Have you noted any particular changes? Interesting. The longer we maintain the split, the more one note and dissimilar we become. Uh, I suspected as much, as they all became far less effective lab assistants as time wore on. I'll spare you the absurd technical explanations. We are talking about mad science, after all. Hmm? Ah. Well, I can't say with absolute certainty what will happen to them. I anticipate a gradual decline with increasing instability until they're no longer viable separate entities. Um, until they perish, sweetheart. I was trying to spare your feelings, though I can't imagine why. Well, it's a terrible, uh, tragedy, but it can't be helped. I haven't enough resources to keep them all stable long term. I can maintain myself indefinitely through artificial means, so I suppose I'll be the last wife standing, won't I? Hmm. I should be concerned for your well-being without the others to tend to your needs, but, uh, frankly, I can't be bothered. How odd. What are you all doing down here? We... we want to... Well, what we want to do is... Uh, what the cream puff is trying to say is we've had it. The trial period is officially over. Done. Finished. Benito. We can't take it anymore. We want to reintegrate. <laughs> what she said. Even I find myself in reluctant agreement. It was fun at first. The split could even be enjoyable for a weekend. A little vacation from each other once in a while. All things in moderation, as the saying goes. But as it is, oh, this is simply untenable. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's awful. I, I'm sorry about using such strong language, but it... Oh, it stinks on ice. Did any of you plan on consulting me about this? Fuck you. This is a democracy. All those in favor of reintegrating? I. I. Um, I... I. Majority rules. Brace yourself, little Miss Logic. It's about to get emotional. Hold it. I do not consent to this. But... I don't want to be reintegrated. I am content as I am. 
Think of the ethical considerations of effectively killing an independent, sentient creature for your own sake. I mean, I don't care about that sort of thing, but you certainly should. You're emotional enough for it to matter to you. And what about the Academy for Mad Science, hmm? You know, it's not really murder if you're part of us. I believe it would still qualify under subsection E, Article 12. Oh, bullshit. You are so full of bullshit. Let me hit her. Oh, please, stop. Oh, look, have you even enjoyed any of the science you've done since the split? Enjoyment is hardly the point. These weeks apart have resulted in reams of valuable technical data. More than I could ever have managed with any of you cluttering up my head. Oh, yeah? When's the last time you felt that rush of success over any of that technical data? I... haven't. But, again, I'm not exactly in this industry for the emotional stimulation. But we were! We were in lots of things for the emotional stimulation. Including our marriage, remember? What else is there to maintaining a partnership if not all the feelings? What good are any of us without the others, hmm? I don't know about you, but being a sentient blow-up doll with one train of thought and one train of thought only is, uh, getting a little stale. Again, fine for a weekend, but my mind is starting to break. And not in a fun way. Look at us! Desire without tenderness, care without joy, science without passion, rage without direction, protectiveness without drive. We're shadows, and so are you. Like Smut for Brains said, it was fun for a bit, but it's not meant to be this way forever. What? You mean we're going to die without reintegrating and she's fine with it because she'll survive? Wow, you're a real sociopath now. I mean, we always were a bit unhinged, but that's beyond the pale. <laughs> I don't want to die, but I guess I will if I have to. No, the hell you will not. We're going to reintegrate. Then I suppose you'll have to force me, won't you? Can you all live with that on your collective conscience? Oh, that's not the gotcha you think it is, lady. Can you live without us? Imagine, in a few weeks we all turn to goo and then what? Another 40 or 50 years down here in the lab doing science without feeling one way or another about it? Never connecting with anyone, never feeling the thrill of competition, the, the joy of figuring out a puzzle, the, the passion for a project? The, the taste of a darn good cup of coffee? Yeah, coffee. So how about it, huh? You want to be a robot for the rest of your life? Or do you want to be a mad scientist? Hmm. On one condition. Name it and we'll see. When work gets overwhelming. When there's too much to do and not enough time to do it. When our sweetheart needs extra attention. We revisit this situation. Occasionally. For short periods. Is that amenable to you all? Sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's fine by me. You've got yourself a deal. Don't abuse it. The duplicator has been both repaired and appropriately modified. All we have to do is pile inside. Sweetheart, once the door closes, wait for this alert. Here, this one. And hit the button. The, uh, big red one. Um, is now a bad time to mention that I'm scared of small spaces? You'll be fine. Just get in there before I explode from sexual frustration. <clears throat> hey, watch your elbow! That's not my elbow, it's a knife! Ugh, idiot! We don't want to come out of this contraption a horrifying monster with blades for fingers, do we? Maybe you don't. <laughs> I suppose this is goodbye. For now, correct. Goodbye for now. Under ordinary circumstances, this would call for a sentimental adieu. Well, anyway. Bye.
Hi, love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Mm. Mm. You didn't really think I would let you reintegrate me against my will, did you?